Now, let's go to apparently a Bellevue, Michigan controversy that was highlighted on WWMT, local CBS affiliate out of Kalamazoo, about a, well, let the owner of the store tell you about it. Joe, welcome to the Live with Rank Show. Appreciate you calling in. Can you explain what this is all about? And then we'll get into the questions. Okay. Uh, well, I decided, you know, I painted the Trump sign on the side of my building maybe three or four weeks ago. So you own yeah. a business in Bellevue, Michigan. You painted Trump on the side of your business, right? Yeah. It's okay. Simple red, big red letters, four foot tall, because I, I really do support Donald Trump. I think he's a great candidate. And uh, But after everything, you know, it keeps unfolding, and it's been unfolding for years. Uh, you know, so many of us want a voice, and we don't have them. We don't have a way to express it as individuals a lot. And I got this store in the corner, and I just had enough, and I thought to myself, you know what? Once upon a time, they used to hang traitors. Traitors were hung. And this wasn't about race, about uh, gender, uh, religion or anything like that. So I, I thought, No you know, labels, but, no left, right, none of that when you put that you know, up there. Because you know as well as I do, I mean, treason can come from within from any side. It's not a party thing. It's, right. We need, we need <clears throat> truth just to be there and, and integrity. And so I decided to hang this dummy. Uh, generic chemical suit filled with like lawn leaves from a maple tree, you know. There's it, it, and we hung it up there, and I'll tell you what. After and you had a day, sign that said something on the top of your building that said what? It says, "Once upon a time, traitors were hung." And it was just this dummy in a white. It was all white, and uh, in uh, a chemical suit, you said filled with something. Yeah. And we just, what happened? Well, uh, it hung there for a couple of days, and nobody really said anything. Next thing you know. Uh, Channel 3 came over and wanted to do a story on it. And she, uh, Jessica Hart, Harthorn asked if she, if I would like to be interviewed. And I said, well, sure, I guess I'll give my side. She was fair about it. And uh, so we talked. And uh, next thing you know, uh, I had a lot of support. But on Facebook, people were going, they were taking that dummy. And they were, make, they were saying it was supposed to be a woman. It was Hillary. It was, a, it was race. They were connecting so many dots that weren't there and making their own little picture. It was amazing. It, 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 now, did someone tear it down? I thought you said yeah. something. The first night, uh, I had a feeling somebody would try, and I almost spent the night, but I went home about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Sure enough, I came back the next morning about 8 o'clock, and I saw this thing laying on my roof, and someone had jumped and grabbed the feet and eventually pulled it down and tossed it up on the roof. So within, so within two hours, we had another one right up there. We were right back in business. So now the question would be this, Joe, you said there's no labels on it. There's none of that, uh, that you were just saying that once upon a time, traders were hung is your sign and this dummy that was hanging from there. Now, let me ask you this, because you had a Trump, big four foot letters of Trump on the side of the building printed. Why would people not think that you were talking about Hillary and this email uh, controversy and the fact that she uh, intent with intent or not intent, just because she's not very intelligent or she doesn't know what she's doing when she's handling classified top secret information. Uh, and now we just found out just the other day that she lets her maid in Washington print out the top uh, uh, classified or top secret or sensitive, whatever. Even the di president's daily schedule that she would say save that is extremely protected. She would ask her maid to print out the president's daily uh, schedule when she would receive it. Um, why wouldn't someone just naturally believe it was against Hillary? Well, that's common sense. Uh, I mean, we're not stupid. I, I feel like I'm the voice of the average electrician, the welder, the factory worker, the, the painter out there, the mechanic who's got greasy hands, you know, working on cars. We're, we're not stupid people. We know what's going on. And they need to understand we are 10 million strong, and we don't need a specific one person to be always be our voice. This is common sense. We see what is happening, and we want to see accountability. And my saying is if the news fits, well, there you go. Well, my thought when I had uh, thought about that when you first had sent me what had gone down and to, to, to let me know about it, I thought it's interesting that— the people on the left directly took that as a 
assault against them, and people on the right didn't. That's got to tell you something. Oh, I've had people, and I trust me, I care about people. I, I, I have, you know, I have a giving heart. We used to do house ministries and take people off the street. I mean, I mean, not just one or two. We've, we've taken people off, uh, dozens of people, and helped them. And so I have a helping heart. And I've had people telling me, oh, this is, you know, I knew somebody that, that committed suicide by hanging, and please take this down. It's offensive. And I say, listen, this is not about suicide, and I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I really do, uh, I feel bad for you, and, 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 and trust me, but— we cannot be such a desensitized people. We're a bunch of pansies. This is reality, and a lot worse things are going to happen than an effigy hanging at my store. Uh, if as time goes on, we're going to see much worse than this. Trust me, people. Now, Joe, let me ask you: Aren't you concerned, being a business owner, that you have entered into this uh, this arena where you're going to anger? Because you should see the letters I get from the left. I mean, they're bad. Oh. I mean, they attack my family. They attack my children. Uh, right. They, it, it, right. Aren't you afraid that you're going to hurt your business? No, here's the thing. First of all, I've come to a conclusion. What is more important is standing up for what's right as opposed to making money. I make money other ways. This was just a hobby. This little building down there, that's my little place to meet people, have a good time, and maybe get up and find a neat little antique here and there. I would rather lose everything, even if I had to my life, standing for truth and righteousness and what is good and true, then gain the world because we have got to stand. And if anybody doesn't want to come to my store because of this, I feel like that's just too bad. I, I don't really care. I have had so much support. You would not believe it, Rain. They're coming out of and a lot of really big uh, businesses locally. They come to me and they say privately, hey, I support you, but I can't do it because my business is like this or that and I'd, I'd lose too much. And I say, that's cool. I understand it. So I'll do it. For so why you. are they supporting? Why are they telling you, Joe, that they support you as a businessman in your endeavor and what you did? Is because, it because of a party or because of what's happening to the country? No, it's the passion that we know. You know, I when I when this whole thing started, I was for Cruz, but then when I when I seen the handwriting on the wall, I began researching Trump and realizing he won me over. Man, I've never been on the edge of my seat ever like I was for Trump, and I'm not easily won over by just different things. I mean, you know. I, it's got to be fairly authentic for me to get behind it. I began reading his books, The Art of a Deal. We watched lots of interviews. Then I seen his children. Those three children are kick butt. They are the real deal, and you don't get that from a school. No, they, they were impressive, and I interviewed Eric a couple weeks ago. Very impressive. So you're saying that the support you're getting is just from people because they're – is it something other than they're – other than – the party or is it that they're just tired of what's going on and it has to stop kind of like those blue dog or reagan democrats back in the 80s it's got to stop it is it's i believe that what we're happening is, is donald trump has tapped into a, a frequency sort of a mindset of the people you can't fake it it's how we're, he resonates he resonates with us we know what he stands for and we it's not a party issue. I'm very disappointed in people like uh, Paul Ryan and some of the other clowns, John McCain. There's a whole list of them. You know, those guys, I call them closet socialists. They're closet progressives. I, they, they, we know what they're there, like. There are people, who, those guys are establishment. Establishment are, cannot out. think outside of the box. They are stuck within that establishment box, both left and right. And that's why I've been saying for a long time, it's that they, at best, they tinker around the edges. That's why it's the fourth week, and I've not gotten an answer from anybody via email or on the phone of the big national issues that are facing us every year. What have they fixed? None of them. And the attempt on health care has been a complete failure. So instead of admitting that it's a failure, and that would be cool. That's all right. We tried it your way. Let's try it a different way. No, they want to double down. So I got to go to break. Uh, I can give you 30 seconds. Anything left, Joe? Well, I just would encourage everybody to stand true to what you believe. Uh, we have a voice, and it's powerful. And uh, uh, Election Day, we're down at the store. We're going to have. We're going to be grilling hot dogs and hamburgers, and just having signs for Trump, and just you know, just being down there talking. Uh, but uh, I would say to everybody, don't underestimate your voice, and don't believe this, that we're divided about race. 
I got a lot of friends of all color, and I wish I had a lot more. I really mean that. All right, Joe. Thanks a lot for calling in. I appreciate that. That's Joe. If you saw that WWMT, local CBS affiliate out of Kalamazoo story about a store in Bellevue.